but yeah in conclusion with the whole body thing like i just want to say you know treat your body good and see how the way you look at it changes like when you're not treating it good obviously it's not going to feel good and in your mind like you know like ugh you know so when you look at yourself you're like ugh but when you treat it good you start to appreciate it more like this is the body that was given to me i'm not gonna have someone else's body like i'm never gonna have a small petite body like i always used to like compare myself i'm like it's just not gonna happen it's not gonna be mine no matter how much weight i lose i don't have a petite frame so i'm like how can i you know make my body better and that's by treating it better by what i eat working out <laughs> So I'm just going to do my makeup with you guys. So that's my skin foundation. I'm going to do some outfit photos. I'm still getting used to posing with my whole body, like full body. I just show my face. But I just want to be more open about my kind of journey with loving my body. So that's why also I wanted to do this get ready with me because I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit. And talk about like my health journey i've always kind of struggled with like body image and like weight gain weight loss i'm very like up and down up and down um i've tried like every freaking quick diet fad there is something ever worked for me was uh, i forgot what year it was but it was when i was in college and um me and russ were going to the gym like a lot like every night and i would do like an hour of weight training and then an hour of cardio dude try to get me to do that now and no sir -ree. there's no way i'm spending two hours working out it's just insane like i have time to do that but i don't have time you know what i mean like if that's not what i want to do i don't want to spend my time grueling at the gym so I lost a lot of weight doing, doing that and slowly I just gained all the weight back because you know it, you have to like really upkeep those type of things. It's been like a struggle ever since then for me to just kind of lose weight and keep weight off but you know what I'm understanding now that it's because it was never like a lifestyle change like I wasn't making lifestyle changes I was trying to do like quick I just noticed like I always felt like really uncomfortable when I would take pictures with friends because I would always be like bigger than everyone because like all my Filipino friends are super petite like all the girls are really petite like they're short and they're just I mean you guys know what petite means they're petite and I am not petite in any sort of way so I just always felt like really um uncomfortable like insecure like taking full body pictures and just like just in general, I just never, I just always felt kind of insecure about my body because it was so different from everyone because I was comparing myself like a lot, you know, like, oh, these girls are so small, like, so like I wouldn't want to take like pictures with her really because I just would look huge in my mind and even rest of the sisters are like so much smaller than me because again, they're freaking petite, so it's like, I just feel like I'm the biggest one in the room. In my mind, that's what body dysmorphia is, is like when you look at your body and you see something so different. And I think we all suffer from body dysmorphia because we always like are comparing, comparing, comparing. And you know, like with social media too, it's just like a whole nother freaking mental ball game with the body dysmorphia. Not comparing on social media, but more so comparing in real life because everyone around me is so small. So it always just made me feel really uncomfortable and self-conscious. So it's just something I've always struggled with because you know those moments where you're like trying to lose weight and then you look back at pictures and you remember that time like I would always look back at pictures and be like oh my god I was so skinny there and now like 15 pounds later I'm trying to lose weight when back then like I was already skinny like I want the body I had back then and now here we are you know it's like such a back and forth back and forth it's honestly quite annoying so in like the summertime, June till November, whatever five months was, um, we decided to go vegetarian because I don't know, like I just started getting kind of grossed out by meat at some point. I don't even know why, like it was just kind of weird how it came upon, but you were, we were like, oh, let's just try going vegetarian because we felt like every time we were eating meat, like we felt really like bloated and like our stomach would hurt. So it was just a weird 
change. So we're like, okay, let's just try to go vegetarian. So we did and we succeeded. Felt really, really good. Like being vegetarian felt so good in the beginning. We didn't feel that bloat or anything anymore. It was awesome. So we stuck with it for about five months and then we started towards the end we started eating like um becoming pescatarian so we would eat seafood and that was cool too because i kind of missed having some type of protein like that because it's really hard to get like your protein in and we were working out too eventually we just kind of plateaued with the vegetarian diet like we started feeling bloated again you know because we were eating like beans and stuff and like cheese and that stuff also makes you feel bloated and like maybe eating more carbs than normal because we didn't have like protein so we were like, okay, after or Thanksgiving, we'll eat meat again for the first time. And then after New Year, we'll go back to being vegetarian. That was our plan, but we just enjoyed uh, freaking <laughs> eating meat so much again that we were just like, you know what? We're just going to have like um, do a moderation. So that's how it all got kickstarted pretty much was our lifestyle was first we started adding more vegetables to our diet like making sure we ate a lot of vegetables it's just something like we didn't do before like i ate vegetables but not as much as i should have been i think so um then we, when we became vegetarian like all we were eating was vegetables obviously so it just felt really good at first but then it got like you know in every diet, you find ways to like cheat and sneak in things that probably aren't so good for you. So I think we kind of got to that point, being vegetarian, that it wasn't really working in our favor anymore. So we decided to eat meat again, but we were like, let's do moderation, but let's still eat lots of vegetables. Because that was like really, it, it's obviously it's so good for you. Like we all know these things, but like, do we do them? No. But, um, just eating vegetables, more vegetables is so much better for our bodies. So that's something we stuck with. Like we eat vegetables, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then in the beginning of this year, 2021, we started this the year with the challenge, the 30 day challenge. And it was like no processed foods, pretty much no chips, no white bread, no cookies no donuts no cake so you know all those little things that we could have when we were vegetarian see that was the problem we could have cereal like bad cereal we could have cookies we could do all that being vegetarian so we decided to do the challenge and oh um, gee it helped me so much because it kind of kicked through craving because you guys we get so addicted to these processed foods it's like it's literally an addiction so doing the challenge we probably like cheated um maybe three times throughout the whole 30 days but if i cheated you know i wasn't gonna feel guilty i was just gonna you know start again the next meal or like not do it again you know because the thing is guys the guilt always with diets is what kills me like i feel so guilty like once i mess up because i'm a virgo like i'll be so hard on myself and you know like when you sometimes when you eat it's kind of like a stress reliever so I think what would happen is like I would mess up and then I would be upset with myself and it would stress me out. So then I would want to binge eat. So it's just like a, such an unhealthy cycle. So uh, lately, like when I mess up, it's just like a one time thing. and You just get back on track the next day instead of like falling into this like vicious cycle of like messing up, binge eating, going back to the diet. You know what I mean? Like it's such an unhealthy addiction or like behavior and i really didn't want to do that anymore to myself like i would torture myself and i'm like why do i do this to myself like i do it to myself you know what i mean so i was just like okay after the 30-day challenge i'm like oh i'm i'm like worried that i'm not gonna have enough self-control so that's like my thing like when i do a challenge i do really good and it's like i can have self-control because i'm doing a challenge like i like the challenge aspects because it really keeps like I can be on top of myself for that but once i don't have a challenge and i have to have self-control like on my own forever it's much much harder but i knew if i kept doing the challenge like i just i needed to challenge myself like make a promise to myself you know so that's kind of what changed it like i can do this and i also have to be like gentle with myself and not get so upset if i mess up once because that would always throw me into like a, a new spiral i've done so many i've done keto 
vegetarian, pescatarian. I even used to count my macros, which is like a whole freaking bitch in itself. But everything taught me something like about my body. So trying all these things, you know, I learned things. But I think to do it like your every day, all day, it's just it's just no way to live, to be honest. So I'm like, I had to make lifestyle changes. Like, this is who I am now. I'm this instead of like, I'm doing this diet or I'm restricting or, you know, like so many limits. So it had to become a lifestyle change. And it's working so much better. Like, but this has just always been my struggle. So now I am on a mission to lose weight. I'm going to lose 30 pounds just to be at like a healthy weight for myself. I know I need to lose some weight because I can kind of like see it so I don't know how many pounds but that's just kind of like my guess but I think like the BMI all that stuff is like false too because everyone's bodies are so so different um, my goal is 30 pounds in the year and what I did this time you guys when I set my fitness goals or whatever I made sure to break it down and like make a plan for it otherwise it's just like this daunting number like 30 30 30 like oh my gosh so much oh my so much and then at the end of the year i'll be like catching up like trying to do it all so instead i like made a plan like okay what is 30 pounds throughout the year it's two and a half pounds a month and that's totally doable with like small changes for breakfast i would always have like toast or tortilla i told myself like I can't have that anymore like I need more balance so it's like a give and take so instead of like restricting myself I'm telling myself it's balance for most days of the week I'm gonna not have carbs with my breakfast because it's just kind of unnecessary I don't really need it so that's something I kind of gave up once in a while I'll have it it's totally fine but most days I'll just go without and then for lunch also try not to have carbs like, I'm talking about, like, bread and stuff. For dinner, we can. it's kind of, like, open, which I like. So if I'm good for breakfast and lunch, I don't feel, like, bad for having a good dinner. So I feel like that's where balance comes in and that really, really helps. And also, like, I love sweets. I have, like, such a sweet tooth. And I just, like, always have, like, this itch for dessert after dinner, which is such a bad habit. And not realistic so i had to tell myself like i need to have dessert once a week that'll be like my splurge i've been sticking to that some days i'll have it like friday and saturday but most weeks i'll just have it saturday and it feels so much better like it makes it taste better because i didn't have it all week you know it doesn't taste as good when you have it all the time yeah so like dinner we'll have pasta we'll have burgers but we cook at home a lot and that's also so much better for you like honestly if you like to eat out but you want to lose weight i think cooking at home is so important but i feel like make the stuff that you like to get when you eat out it's just gonna be like i would say 50 percent healthier just by the fact that you're cooking it yourself so you know what's going in it it's not as processed so the, i like to cook a lot of people don't like to cook so if you don't like to cook then you need to learn so you can make some good food for yourself because I don't like to be deprived. I don't like to eat plain food me and also my workouts. Workouts was another thing like I would work out but I felt like I wasn't working out as hard as I could be. So I told myself like I need to do more hit. So twice a week I'll do a hit workout and then also the days that I weight train like me and Russ are so different like he likes to weight train and not do hit. But I need that like cardiovascular exercise plus weight training for my body type to lose like weight and stuff you have to really figure out like what your body type is and like what works and the only way i was able to do that was trial and error you guys it's just i'm telling you the smallest changes made the biggest difference like the biggest impact instead of like trying to like change my whole life and making it so daunting and such a big thing i just made small healthy changes and so good the first month let me just tell you also another tip i'm like all over the place but i'm trying to like tell you guys like the first month i started doing the, we did the challenge the 30 day challenge um i weighed myself after a month because i told myself like weighing in weekly gives me that feeling of like that pressure that stress and when i don't hit the mark in the week it makes me stressed and it makes me binge eat so instead i was like you know what i'm gonna give myself a month a month is plenty of time to not 
think about it so like to not kind of be obsessed with it but also to you know give myself a, t a good amount of time with like a small goal so two and a half pounds was my first goal for the first month and when I weighed myself I lost five pounds five pounds I don't think it's always gonna be five pounds but that like gave me like ah it was so rewarding honestly so now I'm gonna weigh myself again at the beginning of March so we shall see two and a half pounds is the goal every month for the rest of the year working out feeling good feeling good is like the real goal but like if you want like a numeric goal that's my goal 30 pounds at the end of the year two and a half pounds a month in order to achieve that but you know we'll see how i feel in between but it just gives me something to look forward to like it's not a race it's not do or die it's just a goal that i've set for myself that i feel really good about and excited for like i kind of like this goal and like pushing myself so i'm very excited but yeah it took me so long to figure these things out like what works for me and even just like weighing myself, like Russ is like, no, I need to weigh myself every week. Like, I need to know. I need to know. And like, that works for him, but it does not work for me. So I had to learn like what works for me and stick to that because, you know, that's what's going to work. And it keeps me going. Like, it was so rewarding. And now this month, the same. And we just make so much better choices. Like, every night we have a bowl of fruit instead of dessert or like a sweet of some sort and it feels so good like and then we drink tea like peppermint tea for our digestion and it just feels really good to feel good and not only to like not just when you like reach the goal but like treating your body better feels really good and it's hard to imagine because we want that instant satisfaction with like junk food and like eating out and stuff but this is a much, much better feeling and it's rewarding. Like it feels good and it's rewarding. Eating junk food and like doing all that stuff feels good, but it's not rewarding. So you know what I mean? Like which would you rather have? And for me, it's the rewarding feeling, even if it takes like a little bit longer to see the reward. I think for like a month now, we've been eating the same lunch and you guys, like it may sound so boring. I used to think this too, like, ew, like I don't want to eat the same thing every day. Like I cannot do that. That's not living because food is life to me. So like if you love food like me, which I'm sure most people do, you know, um, eating the same healthy bland thing, like it's just not going to get me anywhere because I just, I can't stick to it because it's not realistic like i don't like it like i want to enjoy my food so i've found like healthy things that i i love so like it triggers that feeling of this tastes good i really like it and it just triggers that in me so it makes it easier for it to become a habit so like um every morning we have eggs with vegetables so it's really just all about balance like little things don't do the drastic things because i've done the drastic things and they they were not paying off for me in the end because it was just too too much for me with the consistency eating the same breakfast and lunch every day helps it takes out the guesswork it takes out the cheating like the temptation to cheat but it tastes good so i look forward to it like so once it's like I'm bored of it and I, I can tell when I'm bored when I'm trying to find other things to eat, then it's time to find like another alternative. But that time has not come yet. I'm still thoroughly enjoying my rotisserie chicken spinach salad. Like I love it. Because on the weekend, you know, we eat, you know, we have good breakfast with my parents. We have like a TikTok breakfast one day. One day we have the scrambled eggs again. We eat out on the weekends one day. We've actually been cooking at home though on the weekends, but the weekends is when we'll eat out and honestly you guys taste so much better because it's such a treat now. Before it's like not as much as a treat, but making small changes, being easier on myself has been such a help. Eating the same thing, taking out like the guesswork and also we plan, so you guys will see this in the vlogs, we plan our meals at the beginning of the week every sunday or saturday we talk about like okay what are we gonna have this week for dinner and we make dinner fun like exciting like this week we have pot roast we're gonna make burgers we're gonna make fajitas like it's something good and it's something to look forward to i like having that variety during dinner time and something good it's really fun so we cook every night which i don't mind at all 
so we just cook one meal a day but that variety like really helps us stick to like the healthier lifestyle and then we'll also add like protein smoothies or just smoothies or overnight oats i make those every week it's just a nice snack to have and it's good to have things on deck so when you do have like that temptation always be ready for that temptation because it will come so you want to be prepared so we have overnight oats i have my cashew clusters and um, we can easily make a smoothie we always have bananas and frozen fruit on deck with almond milk um and then i cut some pineapple this week so we always have something on deck and we go grocery shopping specifically for our menu that week so a lot of the times our grocery list is almost the same because we have the same breakfast and lunch and then um we just get enough for dinner that one night because we don't like to i don't like to waste food like i've done that before with eating healthy like i'll waste everything but like no more i do not waste food anymore i don't like it like i feel so bad about it so we only get just enough for that night and that helps so much it's not easy it's not easy when you make it such a huge task such a huge thing such a huge change so baby steps baby steps but set yourself up for success because there is going to be temptation and you know self control or like uh willpower can only work so many times so you really have to like think ahead like what are going to be the pitfalls and you know prepare so mine would be like you know getting hungry and not having snacks and then i'll eat like the bad snacks that are sitting around like there's still bad snacks sitting around but i don't really go for them anymore because we have our own snacks but all this to say when i feel good i can look at a picture of myself and before i like you know when you don't feel good and like you look at yourself and you're just like you kind of pick yourself apart because and it's because in that moment you're not feeling good on the inside but like right now like i love the way i'm working out for myself i love the way i'm eating healthy for myself and like making better decisions and when i cheat i i consider it balanced because i've been so good during the week most days i'm so good so like to me that's just living a little bit and i think you need balance like i don't think you should really be depriving yourself and i've learned that the hard way many many times and just doing the best i can with mine like that's all i can really do so when i'm doing those things like i feel good about it and i can look at it and i can be like okay that's her you know like how you look at your body really comes from your mind because my body can look be the exact same and i can look at it like oh it looks good today and the next day like me not feel good and just like be like ew i'm so gross so it's really such a like, mental thing but when you know you've been you know treating it well you're less likely to feel that like ew feeling so definitely leave a comment below if you feel me if you struggle with body image i know a lot of us do but okay so this was my get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat this real talk and it motivated you guys in some way i will see you guys in my next video bye